Welcome everyone. I'm Diane Bredeman. I'm here with my dear friends and colleagues, Robert Martin and Karen Lampy. We are We Rise Now. And we're going to talk about Lent today. Robert, tell me, what does Lent mean to you? Lent has um, been a, a new discovery for me. I was raised Southern Baptist uh, in the South in, in Louisiana, and we didn't do Lent because it was kind of a Catholic thing. And there was this prejudice that we had at that time. So I must say that um, the last few years, we've discovered Lent as a time of great renewal, um, a deepening. So, you know, Lent um, starts in the dead of winter when it's cold and um, there's very little green around. And, and I find that the practice of, of accepting that depth, that coldness, um, the shorter sunlight and um, praying into that and having it be uh, a reflective time, a meditative time has been uh, one of the great joys of my Christian life, actually. So to have a, a regular seasonal time of reflection, um, of introspection has been very, very helpful to my spiritual growth. That is wonderful, Robert. Karen, how about you? Um, you know, pastorally, over the years when I was deeply involved with um, people and they were experiencing Lent, there was, uh, it, it seemed to me that Lent always brought to it a heightened sense of hopefulness in wanting to be more spiritual. I mean, they, there was a great um, hope in getting the ashes and then there was you know that there would be greater depth of spirituality and giving up or taking on things but what i found most intriguing with lent and doing that pastoral work is that people were shedding and i say the word shedding like you know a snake almost the stuff that really was hurting them and there was always folks who were um needing to just talk it out. And I think this Lent is one of those where people have a great need for talking it out um, with being so isolated and weariness. I think that I want to make myself more available than ever this Lent to people who just are feeling isolated and lonely. And, um, and that heightens my spiritual connection to God too. So um, in doing all of that work, meditation, <laughs> I think I, for me, I really have to be uh, in a sense, deeply connected um, to God and to, that's, that's my venue is through meditation to get closer to God. Diane, how about you? You know, Robert, I, I grew up Catholic, so very much steeped inside of Lent. Although mm -hmm. I have to say that for me, like as a kid going to Ash Wednesday and getting the ashes and, you know, remember child that you are dust and under dust you shall return felt morbid and really kind of frightening to me, you know, because it seems so much about death. And I didn't have anyone then to describe for me to help me understand that metaphor. And that is that the coming and the going and the natural order of life that we have to let go of the old in order that the new light can come. And that that's really so much about what Lent is about. And it seems to me that as a society right now, as a point in time in history, that's where we are. You know, there's an opportunity with all the change that is afoot for us to accept what's here and let go of the old that we're so comfortable with so that a new light can can come into the world can come into our lives so i think this lint is a very special one diane it's I so totally agree. amazed yep. me that you were able to remember your childhood um the way that it was the ashes were giving to you because 
as giving it as a pastor in the Methodist church, the last phrase that we would always say is, was what you had said, but then we would always say, trust in the mercy of God. And those, that's what has stuck with me. It's not about so much the confessional piece, but it is trust in the mercy of God. That's lovely, and, Karen. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting what I was so interested to just hear you remember that. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. It was seared right here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, we definitely want uh, Lent to be a season of renewal and uh, of letting go of that to which we grasp for our salvation so we can um, align ourselves with the gift of God that um, is ever present. And that meditation will sensitize us to and help us um, grab onto that, the, the truth and the beauty and the goodness of that. 